<laughs> hey, that's that, that's the only one. All right, so he did go Gengar. Okay. Sure, because usually he doesn't go. He, uh, as of late, he hasn't been going Gengar like early in the tournament. He usually saves it for later. Because I mean, I feel like it's exhausting to do because he's a very high execution character. Maybe. Um, I, I, I know, like, he said that, like, he had a hard time doing, like, really long grand finals or something like that with Gengar. Oh, God, I can see that. Yeah. So, anyway, so... Basic counter. Oh, now it's that holding. Yep. King of setups, King advantage. I forget how good counter is versus Blazing King. What you do when you fight me, you just stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, the, the thing you have to worry about with um, countering the play skin is, of course, the uh, blaze kick, the EX blaze kick, and also high jump kick. Those are the only two. Um, and, and I guess it's counter, uh, it's fully charged counter, but I think that's it. Wow. Um, I, I mean, Heat Wave usually beats counter because it's really active, but it's not technically counter. Yeah. Um, but as of late, like, against Boom Boom, ooh, Pachi, I, like, I like the Pachi, he notified the Frog Deer, so okay. he did. So, um, Sir, Sir Spell wasn't able to get that advantage. But against me in particular, I know Boom has been using a lot of high jumps, but that gets, gets me a lot. Oh god, yeah. Because I don't expect him to do it. Because How it. does Spud have burns? He has to be running wind. Um, I think, uh, I don't think he wants, I think he usually does want to run wind school, but I don't think he got a lot of it. Because, um, early on he's getting, uh, some curses on, that builds up a lot of, oh, that builds up a lot of meter. And I think he got grabs too, if I remember correctly. But anyway. Yeah, he got it before Fumu did, didn't he? Yeah, I know, it doesn't make that, sense. That, that shouldn't be how it works. I think that maybe they got it about the same time, either way. It's uh, way too fast. Yeah, Fumu's gonna Fumu be going fast. in. I, I like the magic card. I, I like that. Let's see. I, he needs to be able to use it though early on to get the most advantage out of it. And then it. so it recharges again. Yeah. It's magical. It is magic. It's a magical root fish. Um, I do not envy characters that have a like, curse that's not a counter. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so tough that you can't deal over it, like Levi or somebody down. Yeah. Yeah, like it's it I mean can usually can in some situations, but not like in really meaty situations. Yeah. He can use it like when he's defense, so like if the opponent's just like a little bit minus and get that frame advantage going. Ooh, good job for you. Very funny camera action, but yeah. Okay, I like the match up now. Okay. <laughs> That's probably good for um, Sir Spud to just get that out of the way. Because the speed debuff doesn't really mean a lot to um, Gengar if he stays a lot in the air, because I don't think the speed affects his air mobility. Oh. So if, uh, he can like just keep j if he wants to, if he wants to just keep going down that route. I don't even see the speed buff. He's just moving like a perfectly acrobatic Gengar. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Very, <laughs> it's very speedy Gengu. Yep. Alright, so that's going to be game one for Sir Spud. Um, let's see what Fumu does. I, I, I feel like he wasn't quite getting into his groove there. It's weird, like, Spud, it's hard to explain, because he's kind of holding back and letting Fumu, like, help in him a lot, I think. Except I, occasionally in field. I feel like also Fumu wasn't getting as much value out of the support as he wanted. That's true. I think, I, think it, I saw him change support. Um, yeah, because that was a, I've never seen him use Patchy Magikarp before. I respect him for trying new stuff, mm -hmm. but Patchy did some weird stuff in EU. I mean, it, it freed um it freed up boys uh, it freed him up from like the frog deer and all the projectile setup that can lead to like, getting a lot of advantage in field. And I feel like the goofiest thing Kachi does is gets you like that one and one like, how many vulnerable it, frames on like, Yeah, it, it, it saves you from meaties, yep. Yeah. Um but he used it to nullify the projectile, which is good because um he's trying to get more advantage in field. And if you can win field against Gengar more consistently, that's usually good because that means you're probably winning the synergy war. Mm -hmm. And that's really big for a character like Gengar. Especially since um, Blaziken's um, burst attack is very good against Gengar because like, it's very active and he can't high frame through it. Usually. Like, Gengar is just so tricky because he just disappears and moves and stuff. And while mm. the high jump kick would appear counter, it's like, what if he just disappears? Yeah, and high jump kick is really a move you don't want. Like, you, he takes like 100 recoil damage from a whiff high jump kick. Well, he's got Sylveon, so that's what's good. He's using an HP bag at the Arrogant. Yeah, I, 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 I can agree with the uh, Sil uh, Sylvia. I like that because. Like, I was questioning it, and then I remembered how much Blaziken likes having an HP. Right? I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, this is. And also, the defense means that Gengar's already low ish damage output, so it's going to be even okay, see, that's worse. Than, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's, <laughs> this is going to hurt, and it's going to take a lot of synergy away. Oh, that sucks. He's still in. Yeah, I think if he wins this field phase, he might be able to get it back. Oh, that's. 
Wow. So I realized with Sir Spud that if he has a good enough life lead, he'll use it and he like, gets in that situation. He's gonna do everything he can to lower down your synergy. Like that's why he went for that guy. I was like, because he wants Swoon to not have that going into the next round. That's true. Mm -hmm. This is so risky though, because mm -hmm. like he caught. I mean, calling a grab is kind of weird unless you're like a super advantage. Mm -hmm. like, but I know Sir Spud will always like. If he can, he'll end round one with a grab. Ooh, what is it? Drops combo with Gengar is funny. Yeah, and also Watch the is really a weird for combos because they, they they air tech really quickly out of it. Mm -hmm. it's very important. But I got the same for you. Um, Sir Spell will always, like try and end round one with the grab up his hand because that'll get him ahead in synergy for the next round. Oh, that's Ooh, gonna work. Oh, no. Yep, that's gonna work. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, watch this synergy here. I was. <laughs> oh yeah, that sucks. But uh, uh, he does have Sylveon. Very good for Spud, though. There. Oh man, just keep going for the high jump. It's very risky, but he's gonna be he's held back. That... Dude, that side swipe. Everybody thinks that Moses is coming, mm -hmm. and only like less than half. Yep. As right. soon as I say it. <laughs> now I think the deal uh, is that you need to look out for hypnosis after the first one. I think after the second one, there's too much um, shield stuff for it to actually work. Oh, really? I think. Don't, I don't, don't quote me on I that. Feel it's just like what I, I remember. a lot of times it happens after the second one. Mm -hmm. Well, I think if it is after the second one, um, it takes longer for it to actually grab. Maybe. If I remember correctly. Yeah. 